streets of America are now being invaded by U.S. military vehicles. Civilian downtown streets are huge army tanks driving in the streets near San Francisco, Philadelphia, Idaho, Quebec, Canada as well, um, Larkspur, California. The tribulation is starting. Jacob's trouble is starting. The war is it could be minutes away, it could be days. The stuff's going down, it's going down, but it's actually happening now. It's actually happening now. This is not a drill, it was said by more than one source. From the military, this is not a drill, okay? You know, on the Hal Turner radio show announced that they believe now, according to their sources, that World War Three will begin this uh, June 12th through the 24th, okay? That would be the beginning of World War III, somewhere in there. I mean, dreams and stuff like that. The rapture resurrection happens around the beginning of World War III. The other thing I want to point out, too, is uh, beginning of World War II in September 1939, which also was the first year of the seven-year cycle that led up to the next seven-year cycle, which was the rebirth of Israel, when Israel got a power-up, got, got elevated. Okay? So now... We're here looking at the beginning of World War III in the first year of this seven-year cycle. History is repeating itself now. 27 states, there's massive military movement, like tanks and helicopters and planes and paratroopers and stuff. And supposedly, according to military members, they're saying this is not a drill. We look up because we know as all these things come to pass, you look up for your redemption draws an eye. He gave me a vision of the, like a dream vision. I saw the White House, the pillars of the White House, and an, in front of the pillar was a very large American flag. And at the bottom below the steps, there were about 10 unfinished like missile launchers that I could see like the stands of them, like the bottom part, but not the top part, but I knew what they were. There was some kind of like missile launcher or rocket launcher. And they were all pointed, even though they weren't fully built, they were all pointed to the American flag. And then in the next scene, I saw a guy from the Middle East with a turban on his head. It was, I think, a burgundy color. And he said to basically to hang on until Christ comes for his people. So I think that might be where we are. I just think we're on the brink, guys. I can't tell you what day, but I know we're in a very high watch time. A lot of people are watching um, between now and the 21st, the summer solstice, because there seems to be a lot of allusions to the coming way of the bride, you know, like in Song of Solomon during the time of spring. So summer is nigh between now and between the 21st. There's major military movements all over the United States. There's tanks in Iowa being deployed. I've heard of stuff all the way to Philadelphia. It's also happening in Canada and North Korea. Today, major deployments. Now, I've got a lot of military friends. They do not have unscheduled tests like this, okay? So if they're going to do a maneuver, they've got to let the town know before they do it. But nothing that's happened. But for some reason, all the militaries in the world have went on call today, and there's major movements. I'm still getting tons of reports in from crazy little towns out in the middle of nowhere where the military is deploying there also. But the ones in Iowa, California, Canada have been confirmed. These are not past videos. These are recent videos. I, and the reason I tell you that is because Fox is trying to buy all of them. That also tells me this is not routine. This is not an exercise. If Fox is trying to buy these people's material off Twitter and off Internet, that is a sign that even Fox has no clue what's happening, but they want to get it on the news. So this is not a test. Things are lined up so much right now that they're not going to stay aligned this way forever. Like some of the technology that the Bible talks about um, is going, it's going to get even greater than that technology if it continues. And if it gets greater than that, then you actually have no flesh. So there's, there's definitely a time frame here that we're seeing everything lining up. So I, I agree with you. I mean, the lawlessness in this world right now and the acceleration of that is a major clue and a major key to, to us about, you know, that his, 
he's coming back very soon. They just um, approved um, implants of computer chips in the brain. The FDA did. So now that is is on the cusp of occurring. Hey, so you know, there's not there's <laughs> not there's not a lot more you can go from there, right? I mean, it's it, it's getting very close. We also know that, like Bob said, Jesus um, left this earth about two thousand years ago. We're just shy of about 2,000 years. Yep. It seems like things would line up for him to come back after 2,000 years, 2000 years later. Um, there's a lot of parallels in there with like creation being seven days long, right? If one day is 1,000 years, that would be 7,000 years total. And we know that the millennium is 1,000 years long. So you take 1,000 off of 7,000 and you get 6,000. Who, if you go back through the lineage chronology of ages of people who died from Adam to Jesus, you're looking at about 4,000 years. So 4,000 plus 2,000 plus 1,000 equals 7,000. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that all these things that Jesus said would happen and that the apostles said would happen at the end, we're seeing those things take place. It just all lines up that we are in at the end here of this period of time. I mean, the lawlessness that is rampant all the way up to the very top of the leaders of countries is just it's astounding. It's, yeah. it's, 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 un, it's, it's unprecedented in human history yeah. of how bad it's gotten here. I felt like I was in a dark panic attack, uh, just like to the point where it was consuming. The only way that I get through any day is I live in prayer. How cool is that, that we have this God who cares for us that much that no matter what we're going through, we can go have a conversation with him. It's not easy to be alive in this time. It is a challenge. And that's why we're supposed to encourage each other and lift each other up because we are all facing challenges. I just want to just anybody who's suffering and in that dark place, Lord, let them just spend that dark place, come to you, Lord, and just and bring some light into their darkness. Give them answers. I know that sometimes Lord, the words just aren't enough. They need actions. And so give them some actions in their life that confirm the words, Lord, and just, and just bring it into their daily lives so that they can just know without a doubt that they are loved and protected by you. Join me on my other media platforms. The links are in the description area below this video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.